Let's get y'all first stop of the day. Old uh, Bay's trying to pick up some makeup stuff. What are you looking for today? No. Uh, Actually, I think it's like soap, right? Yeah, face wash and moisturizer. That's what's up. And then after that, we're going to head to some uh, hobby shop that I've never been to before. <coughs> I'm dying. Um, to get the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel set. So I'll definitely be opening that up on the channel. Basically, uh, back in January, they released two starter decks, which had three decks in them each, so six decks total, with different characters from the anime. And this is the first time there's actual booster packs coming out. The booster packs are pretty interesting. Um, it's $1.50 for a pack, which usually most card games is about four bucks, five bucks, something like that, retail price. And instead of getting like 10 cards, 9 cards, something like that, you get 4 cards in there. So much smaller decks, much smaller pack sizes. So it'll definitely be interesting and it's just pretty cool because it's the first um, of this whole set or series. So I'm definitely going to be keeping a box dead stock just because you never know with these things. It's either going to be a big success or not. And, you know, it's just kind of nice to have that as a collector's piece. But anyways, let's go get some soap. Like store friends. So yeah, I guess there's like construction or something like this. The road to the shop we're going to is completely blocked off and closed. We have to park way over there. But yeah, <laughs> this is the road. Now let's go ahead and find the shop. Like somewhere, the somewhere over here. Or it might be down the way. We just found it. Let's go check this out. So it looks like this is what's going on with the whole uh, street being closed. No parking just today. My luck. And the door is <laughs> locked even though they're open, so we'll wait a few minutes to see what's going on. I mean, you know, it's, it's, Check out some Age of Ultron still too. almost double. Captain America's Civil War is so $120 million. Dollars like now, so we gotta ask. Alright, so we got our box. Can't wait to open it. And also, for spending $30 or more on product, we get this uh, Call of the Haunted. The cool thing about this is this is the original like Japanese art for it with the crosses. When it came out in America originally, we didn't we got like an altered version or an edited version of it. So pretty cool. Let's head back and see what we pull. Making a pit stop at a local park. There's always uh, good spawns around here, or at least a lot of spawns, I should say. And today there's actually good spawns. Um, there's Magikarp, Larvitar, Charmander, and a raid as well. So let's go ahead and check all that out. All right, doing the raids, but to finish right here. There's a chance for a shiny. He could be golden if he's shining. Let's see what we get. Good luck on your shiny. And there he goes, going down. Any good items? Oh, our friendship went up. Super potion, rare candy, all right. Always nice to see rare candy or two. He got them. Really? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is purple. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright guys, just got back from the shop. Super excited to be opening up the very first uh, Speed Duel set, Arena of Lost Souls. So, very, very cool. So, for those of you that don't know what Speed Duels are, it's basically a much simplified version of the game. Smaller deck, uh, less cards. Right now we only have those first starter decks like I mentioned before, and now this first expansion set. So, very cool. Uh, I used to play back in the day, and so to see a lot of these old cards brought back to life with the Speed Duel branding on it, very, very cool. So this is a 36-pack uh, booster box, which funny enough, I actually have uh, an original 36-pack booster box of the old cards, but those had a lot more packs in it, or a lot more cards in each pack, and so it was a, a lot bigger box. So it says a Royal Flash right there. It's got the first edition stamp, English edition, Speed Duel's branding on it. Ages six and up, four cards per pack, and 36 packs per box. So, very, very cool. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open right now. All right, so I think, yeah, it does say on the back what type of rarities you can expect to see. Uh, the set includes 34 comic cards, uh, eight super rare cards, and eight ultra rare cards. So, much smaller sets, much smaller packs, everything like that, so very, very cool. Go ahead and crack this open. And I'll show you guys that right now. Boom. Go ahead and start with this side first. <laughs> the packs are so thin and so funny. All right. We'll just go from the top, not messing with the order or anything like that. And here we go. What's going to be in the very first pack? Also, let me go ahead and set this. Lost Art, Call of the Hunted to the side. Alright. 
Queen's Knight, Zombie Tiger, got an equipment card right here, and uh, a trap. So these are all commons, I believe. No uh, rares, yeah, because it would only be super rares or um, ultra rares, so all commons here. Let me go ahead and just kind of set these to the side real quick. All right, moving right along. So some of the stuff to look for in this set is the Karibo, the, uh, um, the Fusion, Blue Eyes, and some of the, like, whatever they're called, like, not spell cards, but ability cards. They're, like, blue. It's a speed duel, like, exclusive type card. Basically, it's an ability that you start off with. Ooh, we did get an Ultra Rare right off the bat on our second pack. All right, so let's go through the pack real quick. Just a regular monster. Uh, from what I've seen or heard, this is actually a trap that's pretty useful in this format. So basically what it says is draw two cards, then banish one normal monster from your graveyard. Or if you have none, send your entire hand to the graveyard. So with speed dueling, there is a lot more normal card use. So it's basically draw two cards at that point. All right. We got our first ultra rare. It is a fusion. It's actually the guy right on the pack. All right, guys. Now it's in focus. Amazing looking card right here. Super awesome. And that attack power on it is crazy. First ultra rare. Gonna go ahead and set that to the side. I think we can expect, I think it was like four, eight. I don't, I don't know how many hollows. I guess we're gonna figure it out right now. Actually, no, I think I've seen people's uh, like pulls and stuff. They were ending up with like five hollows, I think, out of the box. So we'll see what we get right now. Always exciting opening up a new set. Magical Ghost. Amazon is Spy, Shield and Sword, <laughs> referencing that new Pokemon game <laughs> coming out later on this year, Skull Servant. Alright, I mean, an Ultra Rare in our second pack, can't get much better than that. Let's see if we can keep, keep that energy up throughout the whole uh, unboxing. Let me know in the comments below, have you guys heard of Speed Dueling before? or not um are you planning on picking this set up very interested to to know you guys opinion on that wasteland we got our field card right there first double so far a fusion block attack the good thing i do like about this format is cards that wouldn't normally be used like that trap that i showed you or are less likely to be used when there's just better options normally in the main format um they're useful, you know, so it brings a new dynamic to the game and stuff like this. I think it's very, very cool. All right, our second duplicate so far and followed by our third. I guess we're going to start seeing a lot more of those as we go on. Defusion Wave. Limit Impulse. Very cool. Nice. Buster Blader. Gain 500 attack for each dragon monster your opponent controls. Very cool. Gonna set that aside. Definitely a useful card. Common Charity again, another useful card. Clown Zombie. Possessed Dark Soul. All right, so, so far two of the like standout cards uh, from this set have been pulled. One non-hollow, one ultra rare. I hope to get the Karibo, man. That'd be pretty cool. Half shut, the snake hair, block attack, rabbit horseman. The four pack is just so funny to look at. I, I'm used to opening up, you know, 10 packs or 10 cards in a pack, whatever it may be. It's gonna take some getting used to. Although in Japan, like for Pokemon, that's kind of how the packs are, much smaller for sure. Grave, uh, Gravekeeper's Ambusher, rabbit horseman. Mystic Horseman, Shield and Sword. I'm also wondering, now that it does say Speed Duel print it in black right there, um, are they going to reprint the original starter decks with that now? Or, it is weird, because there's, there's only been one release so far and they've already switched it up on how, how that goes. Ooh, we got another Ultra Rare, guys. So let me show you the rest of the pack. Block attack, Magi magicians, uh, magicians, <laughs> unite, and twister. Pay 500 life points, target one face up spell trap on the field, and destroy it. 
and it focused right there guys there it is twister amazing work on that the artwork very very cool second ultra rare. no super rares yet two ultra rares so that's not bad let's get some more ultra rares <laughs> imagine this box is like only ultra rares somehow I wonder how much variety people are seeing her like opening multiple boxes and stuff like that considering it is such a small set you know Veil of Darkness was our only new card out of that pack are they numbered like at the bottom oh they're numbered right there on the side so Buster Blader was number one I definitely want like a complete set that would be dope not gonna happen from one box, but shout outs to the homie Jay. Uh, I believe he has a box uh, on its way. That was a Christmas gift. He had pre ordered this set not knowing about the, um, sorry, not Christmas, birthday gift. He had pre ordered the set not knowing the release date and he was worried when it wasn't like here by my birthday. And then he informed me of what it was. And I had to let him know, yeah, it hadn't released yet. So, very awesome gift. Shout outs to Jay on that one. Oh, I didn't even know this was in here. Awesome card right here. Shallow Grave. Very cool. Half Shut again. Armored Zombie. <coughs> Harpy's Pet Dragon. I'm going to set this to the side just because, you know, for Harpy's deck, this is kind of a noteworthy card right there. Gain 300 attack and defense for each Harpy's Lady on the field. I mean... I don't know exactly how useful that could be in Speed Duel, considering there's only three zone slots, so it can only be powered up twice. So 2,600. Hmm. I don't know. We did get another Buster Blader. Dragon Zombie. Ooh, our first super rare right here. Sword of Dragon's Soul. Equipped only to warrior monsters, it gains 700 attack after damage calculation. If the equipped monster battled a dragon monster, destroyed that monster at the end of the battle, uh, battle phase. Our first super rare right here, guys. Very cool. Hey, there it is. So that is two ultras and one super so far with four super noteworthy uh, commons. Magicians Unite. Skull Servant. White Elephant's Gift. D spell. I remember this from the original Yu-Gi-Oh starter decks back in the day. This was a card in those decks. Classic, classic Yu-Gi-Oh card right there. All right. First of this trap so far. Oh, we got Jack's Knight. We got the queen in the first one, I think. Let me set her aside, too. These are two pretty uh, noteworthy comments. All right, we're almost done with this side of the box, guys. Two packs left. What do you guys think of this set so far? I think it's going to be a lot of fun adding these cards to the uh, decks we currently had access to with the starter decks. Just got another Jack's Knight back-to-back. Stack that up. The other commons right here. Nothing too crazy. All right, finished with the first half of the box, guys. I'm surprised we haven't got any of the blue like ability cards yet. Those are the cards that whatever theme of deck you play it gets to start off with based on whatever character type it is, whether it's Joey or Yugi. We did get another Shallow Grave. We did get another Harpy's Pet Dragon and a magic and normal monster to end off that half of the box. So, setting this to the side, last half guys. We're still looking for that Karibo. It would be amazing to get the Blue Eyes Fusion. We will just have to wait and see. I wonder on this half of the box, will we be pulling two hollows or three hollows? Because again, I believe from the Instagram photos I've been seeing, I think I've been seeing people pulling five hollows. All right, now since these cards are starting to just be commons we've already seen, I'm going to just more quickly go through it. If there is a new card that I notice, or a hollow or something of note, I'll point that out. 
Otherwise, I'll just try to go through this as quickly as possible at this point. Got White Out Elephant's Gift and a few other creature cards and a spell card on that. Oh, is this new fusion? Nope. We already have all these. I think we're already going to be getting a second set for this just in a couple of months, guys. So they're going to be cranking out the speed dueling content. I'm all for it. I think it's very, very dope. It allows uh, people like me to get back into the game, considering right now, if you try to get into the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, there's just so many different types of cards, so many cards from over the years. It's very, you know, daunting to just dive back in. But if you're starting from the beginning, you know, that makes it a bit easier to have a grasp of how that meta works and what cards are useful in decks and whatnot. Got another D-Spell. Common Charity. I know I pulled a few other ones. I am going to set that aside. That is the third now, so that's a playset right there. Which I think, I mean, we'll see how ban lists and stuff like that work for speed dueling. I don't think there's any ban or limited cards yet for speed dueling. We'll see if that changes at any point. Decayed Commander. That's a, a first right there. Ooh, King's Knight. King's Knight, guys. Our second, our second super rare. Our fourth hollow altogether, King's Knight. So I believe this Knight Joker right here, in order to fuse into it, you need, yep, you need King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and Jack's Knight. So got the whole set right here. Very, very cool. Out of one box, completed it. Not, not too shabby at all. All right. We got another Jackson Knight, another Buster Blader. That's three Buster Bladers right there. That is a play set. We got another Queen's Knight. Mr. Quartzman, we did already pull, I believe. That's another one of the, I mean, these are all OG cards, but this is very nostalgic for me from the very first set, if I remember correctly. And I think in a lot of the old starter decks as well. So definitely brings back memories. High school, middle school, all that. Fun times. Alright. Shield and Sword, Harpy's Pet Dragon. That's our third of those. Yeah, so out of one box, I'd say it's pretty easy to pull, you know, play sets of a decent amount of cards. Maybe not every single one of the cards you need, but... And that's not bad either for 30 bucks. Well, 40 bucks, really. After tax and whatnot. And we got our fourth, which makes it like a duplicate or like trade trade bait. Sujin of the Thousand Hands is our super rare. Very cool. Oh no, the camera's running out of batteries. Hopefully, I'm able to finish this up. If not, I will cut it and um, and continue back. We only have a few more packs, so that's our fifth hollow. Two ultra rares, three super rares. Having trouble with this pack. Don't die on me yet, camera. Shallow grave. We're pushing through, we're pushing through. Okay. Jack's Knight. It's nice that we're getting four of some of these cards already. For trade bait. Dropping packs over here in a scramble to get to these last four packs, guys. Can we do it? It's a race race for the clock. Shallow grave again. Alright. Queen's Knight. Wasteland. Last two packs, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I'm sure I'll be back. Oh, we got our first ability card, guys. Bones. Nice. Skill card. That's what it's called. Skill card. Bones. This is a super rare as well. So six hollows out of this set, guys. Or out of this box. Let's see if I can't get it to focus. Very cool. All right. Last pack. Will we get a 7 hollow? We'll see. We did! We got another ultra rare. What the hell? 7 hollows, guys. Alright.
right, so let's quickly go through it. We got this ultra rare, two, uh, three ultra rares, and four super rares. Bones, Sword of Dragon Soul, Sinju, and King's Knight. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I'm wrapping this up so quickly, but the camera's about to die. Till next time, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching.